First tonight, an urgent manhunt is underway in Houston for a man accused of robbing and kidnapping his landlord, his friend, at gunpoint. The video is just absolutely terrifying. You can hear the victim confused, asking his roommate what was going on. And Fox 26's Matthew Suroff is live tonight outside of Houston Police Headquarters as he learns where this investigation stands. Matthew. Well, Kaylin, that video hard to watch. Houston police sharing it today, hoping someone knows where that gunman is. On your knees. Bro, on your knees. Dramatic home surveillance video of a roommate robbery. You think he was trying to kill you? I do. I, like, sadly, I do. Bro, what's the issue? Justin Iwuji here in the kitchen last Sunday evening, a gun pointed right at him. He grabs my cell phone sitting on the island and he walks around and he unplugs the ring camera. He then told me to go to the living room, get on my knees. He tossed the bandana over to me and said, put this over your eyes. Blindfolded, Justin says his roommate starts ransacking the house. He cash apps himself $6,000. Stealing jewelry and taking Justin's gun. Me and him had no animosity. We never fought. We never argued. He had been living with me over a year. So I'm not this the day the roommate was supposed to be moving out after missing rent payments. Instead, he ties Justin to a chair and puts him in a shower. He says something along the lines of, you know, any last words or what do you have to say for yourself? He also has a pillow in his hand as if he was going to shoot through the pillow to silence the, the gun. Um, at some point, he asked me, you know, do you want to do this here or do you want to gamble? I said, I gamble. Tied up and tossed into the back of his own car, Justin's roommate then drives from the home off Edo Circle to Cyprus, more than 30 miles away. He went into uh, Walmart. He bought duct tape. After several stops, Justin finally able to break free. I managed to just push myself out of the vehicle with my feet. I'm still tied up. Houston police sharing this photo of Justin's roommate, 29-year-old Joshua Deloach, on the run for more than a week. If he sees this tonight, what would you want to tell him? I would just want him to turn himself in. Right now, authorities are still looking for that roommate. If you have any information, call police. We're live in downtown tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.